In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use spot colors in the artwork manager when we're sending artwork to the RIP. Now to best show you that, I'll go to page 3 here where I've got some artwork that actually contains some spot colors. I can show you this by clicking on this edit menu and selecting by color and we'll clearly see these spot colors in here. We've got red, orange and yellow. I'll just select yellow here just to show you. And you can see how it's selected it here. Let's click on the uh, fill flyout and I'll go to the spot color window here. And you can see I've got this color here, this PMS 89 in yellow. And it's showing me in the lab values here. Of course there's other color models you can use. Uh, but quite often spot colors are shown in lab values. If you want to learn more about spot colors and how to use this window, just click on the help button here and uh, you, can, you can look at the uh, lesson etc. on this particular window. But when it comes to spot colors, spot colors are targeted colors that we wish to print out. And uh, an example of that would be something like Coca-Cola's red or uh, Kodak's yellow. Uh, in other words, they're colors that we want to uh, reproduce as accurately as possible from our printer and that's given its media, its ink and the profile we've selected. So we're trying to faithfully reproduce the color as accurately as we possibly can. Now I'll show you how to do that. So once we've got our spot colors set, we simply come up to the RIP button up here, we click on that, process it for us and because there are spot colors in this artwork, uh, the artwork manager immediately recognizes this and you'll see this checkbox come up. If I click on this checkbox you'll see this tab come up now, spot colors, and we can see in here we've got our um, spot colors that are contained within this artwork and they're automatically checked for us. Now we can unselect all of these or select all of them. The point is here by having them selected and then clicking accept here, when this artwork is sent to the RIP manager, the RIP manager will be instructed by this module to print these colors out as spot colors and try and get them as accurately as it possibly can given that they are spot colors and given their values that you can see here. So that's what we do, we click accept and the artwork sent in here and we can see it here as so. And if we go to our job options here we can see that it's seen these spot colors and there's three of them. So that's how we send uh, spot colors to the RIP manager from the artwork manager. We simply check that checkbox, uh, check the ones we want to actually send along and then they'll come automatically into the RIP manager. And a little tip about spot colors, if you want to get them as accurate as possible, from your render intent select absolute color metric. That'll get the best possible results for spot colors. To learn more about that go to the help button down here, click on that and you can read up more about uh, how spot colors work with ICC profiles and the like. But that's how you get spot colors in from the artwork manager into the uh, RIP manager like that. And that's the end of this lesson.